Ben and Jerry's is an American ice cream company, a division of the Anglo-Dutch Unilever conglomerate, that manufactures ice cream, frozen yogurt, sorbet, and ice cream novelty products. These are manufactured by Ben and Jerry's Homemade Holdings, Incorporated, headquartered in Burlington, Vermont, United States, with the main factory in Waterbury, Vermont. It is best known as a premium ice cream brand, founded in 1978 in Burlington, Vermont. History Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield were childhood friends from New York. While Jerry finished college, he found himself unable to make his way into medical school. Ben dropped out of college. In 1977 Ben and Jerry completed a correspondence course on ice cream making from Pennsylvania State University's Creamery. Cohen has anosmia and so relied on mouthfeel. This led to the company's trademark chunks being mixed in with their ice cream. On May 5, 1978, with a $12,000 investment the two business partners opened an ice cream parlor in a renovated gas station in downtown Burlington, Vermont. In 1979, they marked their anniversary by holding the first ever Free Cone Day, now an international annual celebration. In 1980, Ben and Jerry rented space in an old spool and bobbin mill on South Champlain Street in Burlington and began packing their ice cream in pints. In 1981, the first Ben and Jerry's franchise opened on Route 7 in Shelburne, Vermont. In 1983, Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S ice cream was used to build a Euro OF World a Euro unregistered trademark S largest ice cream Sunday a Euro in St. Albans, Vermont. The Sunday weighed 27,102 pounds. That same year, the cows on their cartons were redesigned by local artist, Woody Jackson. In 1984, Har currency agent Daz wanted to limit distribution of Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S in Boston, prompting Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S to file suit against the parent company, Pillsbury, in its now famous a Euro Oihata Euro unregistered trademark S the Doughboy Afraid of. A Euro campaign. In 1987, Har currency agent Daz again tried to enforce exclusive distribution and Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S filed its second lawsuit against the Pillsbury Company. In 1985, the Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S foundation was established at the end of the year with a gift from Ben and Jerry's to fund community-oriented projects. It was then provided with 7.5% of the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S annual pre-tax profits. In 1986, Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S launched its a Euro OE Cow Mobile a Euro, a modified mobile home used to distribute free scoops of Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S ice cream in a unique, cross country a Euro OE marketing drive a Euro a Euro driven and served by Ben and Jerry themselves. The a Euro OE Cow Mobile a Euro burned to the ground outside of Cleveland four months later, but there were no injuries. Ben said it looked like a Euro OF World a Euro unregistered trademark S largest baked Alaska Euro. In 1988, the two men won the title of U.S. Small Business Persons of the Year, awarded by U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Also that year, the first brownies were ordered from Grayston Bakery, which led to the development of the popular chocolate fudge brownie flavor. In 1992, Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S joined in a cooperative campaign with the national non-profit Children's Defense Fund. The campaign goal was to bring children a Euro unregistered trademark S basic needs to the top of the national agenda. Over 70,000 postcards were sent to Congress concerning kids and other national issues. In 1995, they hired Robert Holland, Jr. as CEO after holding an essay contest as part of the search. Holland left after 20 months following philosophical differences and was replaced by Perry Odak in 1997. In 1989, Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S revealed their opposition of the use of UGBH in all their products. This genetically engineered hormone is usually given to cows in order to boost milk production, but Ben and Jerry a Euro unregistered trademark S does not support this practice and is in favor of utilizing less chemically intensive ingredients for the safety of consumers and the environment. In 1994, Ben and Jerry's, The Inside Scoop, 
written by Fred Chico Lager, former CEO of Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, was published. This book tracks the history of how Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream got started. The book focuses on how two real guys built a business with a social conscience and a sense of humor. In April 2000, Ben and Jerry sold the company to Anglo Dutch multinational food giant Unilever. Unilever said it hopes to carry on the tradition of engaging in these critical, global economic and social missions. Although the founders' names are still attached to the product, they do not hold any board or management position and are not involved in day to day management of the company. In 2001, Ben and Jerry's U.S. completed the transition to Eco Pint Packaging, which packaged all pint flavors in environmentally friendly unbleached paperboard Eco Pint containers, a decision it later reversed. The use of brown craft unbleached paperboard had been a critical first step toward a totally biodegradable pint made without added chlorine. Due to what they described as increasing supply, quality, and cost challenges, Ben and Jerry's discontinued their use of the Eco Pint in 2006, transitioning to a pint container made out of a bleached paperboard that it said was more readily available with superior forming characteristics. On Earth Day in 2005, when a vote in the U.S. Senate proposed the opening of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil drilling, Ben and Jerry's launched a protest by creating the largest ever baked Alaska, which weighed 900 pounds and placed it in front of the U.S. Capitol building. In March 2009, Cyclone Dairy launched an advertising campaign and a website to promote its milk products, which purportedly came exclusively from cloned cows. On April 1, 2009, Ben & Jerry's announced that it was behind this fake company. Ben & Jerry's had created the tongue-in-cheek hoax to raise awareness of the increasing presence of products from cloned animals within American food and a campaign for a tracking system of cloned animal products. The hoax was revealed on April Fool's Day with a message, We believe you should have the right to choose which foods you eat a euro, and not to eat clone foods if you don't need a euro unregistered trademark T want to. And that's why Ben and Jerry a euro unregistered trademark S believes we need a national clone tracking system, so people and companies can know where their food is coming from. In 2010, Joe Stein Solheim a Unilever executive from Norway, became the new CEO of the company and had this to say about the transition, my mantra that I've repeated a hundred times since starting at Ben & Jerry's is, a euro change is a wonderful thing, he said. The world needs dramatic change to address the social and environmental challenges we are facing. Values-led businesses can play a critical role in driving that positive change. We need to lead by example and prove to the world that this is the best way to run a business. Historically, this company has been and must continue to be a pioneer to continually challenge how business can be a force for good and address inequities inherent in global business. On February 24, 2012, Ben & Jerry's released a new Greek frozen yogurt line, which comes in eight flavors, strawberry shortcake, blueberry vanilla graham, raspberry fudge chunk banana peanut butter, and vanilla, on April 12, 2013 pineapple passion fruit, vanilla honey caramel, and Liz lemon were added to the Greek yogurt line. In 2013, Ben & Jerry Euro unregistered trademark s committed to making their products GMO-free in support of mandatory GMO labeling legislation. Original flavors and sundaes. Chubby Hubby consists of vanilla malt ice cream swirled with fudge and peanut butter, and containing pretzel nuggets covered in fudge and filled with peanut butter. For the month of September 2009, Ben and Jerry's, in partnership with Freedom to Marry, renamed Chubby Hubby to Hubby Hubby, in celebration of the legalization of same-sex marriage in the company's home state of Vermont. The carton featured the image of two men getting married beneath a rainbow. On March 13, 2012, Ben & Jerry Euro Unregistered Trademark S announced it will be changing the name of one of its ice cream flavors in the UK in support of equal marriage rights for same-sex couples. Oh. My. Apple Pie. Will become Apple Y Ever After and Tubbs will feature a gay couple atop a wedding cake decorated with rainbows. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield appeared on the The Colbert Report on March 5, 2007 to promote their new ice cream flavor, Stephen Colbert's A Mary Cohn Dream, and their grassroots education and advocacy project, 
true majority. The company renamed a flavor, Yes Pecan, in reference to Barack Obama's victory in the 2008 U.S. presidential election. They later decided in January 2009 to donate all proceeds made on the sale of that flavor to the Common Cause Education Fund. On March 2, 2011 Cohen and Greenfield appeared on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon and unveiled their new flavor of ice cream, Late Night Snack, whose carton features a picture of Jimmy Fallon on it. The Vermonster is a large ice cream sundae served in a Vermonster bucket in Ben and Jerry's scoop shops. Its ingredients are 20 scoops of ice cream, 4 bananas, 4 ladles of hot fudge, 3 chocolate chip cookies, 1 chocolate fudge brownie, 10 scoops of walnuts, 2 scoops each of 4 toppings of your choice, and whipped cream. It contains 14,000 calories, and 500 grams of fat. The Monster Challenge is an annual charity event held by Ben and Jerry's in which teams of four compete to finish a Monster and win free ice cream for a year. Free Cone Day is an annual event held between late March and early May, in which Ben and Jerry's scoop shops give out free ice cream cups and cones. The most recent event took place on Tuesday, April 8, 2014 from noon to 8 p.m. The first Free Cone Day was held on Saturday. May 5, 1979 by Ben and Jerry as a customer and staff appreciation event for the first anniversary of their store's opening. Over one million free cones are given away each year, prompting the company's ad slogan Be One in a Million. Charitable organizations are often present at the stores each year and enjoy a significant amount of fundraising success. Often, local celebrities show up at various stores, promoting the day and the charities there. Sometimes the event is scheduled to coincide with Earth Day and sometimes volunteers are on hand with clipboards and voter registration forms to help those who would like to register to vote. Controversies, Commercial, the Center for Science in the Public Interest, a consumer advocacy group, urged Ben and Jerry's to stop labeling their ice cream as all natural, due to the company's use of corn syrup, alkalized cocoa, and other chemically modified ingredients. In September 2010, the company agreed to stop labeling their ice cream and frozen yogurt as all natural. In 2011 Ben and Jerry's released a flavor named Tweedy Balls, in homage to the Saturday Night Live skit of the same name. An American group named One Million Moms protested, saying that the name was too explicit for grocery store shelves. A Euro spokesperson Monica Cole explained to the media, I realize it could be a lot worse. But are they going to progressively get worse if we don't say something? Maybe they'll think twice before they come up with another inappropriate name for ice cream. However, the expression of disdain was not unanimous among U.S. parents, as Mother Gina Ragusa said to the Huffington Post, We just think it's funny, that's all, and honestly we all really want to try it. Adding that she consistently checks for the item's availability at her local supermarket. Actor Alec Baldwin who appeared in the SNL skit as Baker Pete Tweedy, hosted the September 24, 2011 episode of the 37th season of the show and responded to the protests by stating that a new flavor called Go Fudge Yourself had been produced for those in opposition to the tribute. Following the initial release of the flavor, Baldwin informed the media that thanks to Ben and Jerry's, the goodness of the Tweedy family recipe won't go with me to the great beyond as he had previously feared that his association with the SNL episode would remain permanent until his death. Political Following rumors that suggested that Ben and Jerry supported the defense of Mamiya Abu Jamala Euro, who was convicted in 1982 of killing Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner a Euro the company confirmed that Cohen did sign a petition, as a private citizen, asking that the system of American justice be followed fully in the case. Controversy emerged in 2006 after the company released a flavor of ice cream called Black and Tan. It had named the flavor after the alcoholic drink, which is made by mixing stout with pale ale, but the Black and Tans are also known as a paramilitary police force of British World War I veterans recruited during the Irish Revolution. At the time that the flavor was released, the Irish nationalist movement was still offended by the historical association of the title. In February 2012 a Ben and Jerry's franchise near Harvard University created a limited edition frozen yogurt flavor named Taste the Lin Sanity, in honor of Asian American basketball player Jeremy Lin, a Harvard alumnus. At inception, 
the product contained vanilla frozen yogurt, lychee honey swirls and fortune cookie pieces, leading to a widely publicized controversy about racial stereotyping due to the association of the fortune cookie ingredient with Chinese culture. The latter ingredient was later replaced with waffle cookies, as the fortune cookies became soggy and the franchise received returns from customers. Ben and Jerry's general manager for Boston and Cambridge explained to the media, We obviously weren't looking to offend anybody and the majority of the feedback about it has been positive. A basketball hoop was installed in the Harvard Square store, enabling successful customers to become eligible for a one US dollar discount on the flavor. Ben and Jerry's released an official statement shortly after the launch of the product, in which it said, We are proud and honored to have Jeremy Lin hail from one of our fine, local universities and we are huge sports fans. Our intention was to create a flavor to honor Jeremy Lin's accomplishments and his meteoric rise in the NBA, and recognize that he was a local Harvard graduate. We try to demonstrate our commitment as a Boston-based, valued-led business and if we failed in this instance we offer our sincere apologies. Prior to the official apology from the ice cream company, a writer for sports media outlet ESPN published an article entitled Stop the Line Sanity and Sanity, in which he requested that those who were participating in the debate stop it. Lin Hops wrote, I was born in Vietnam to a Chinese woman and a U.S. military police officer and have lived most of my life in the United States. I don't know how to use chopsticks. I don't know any Chinese words. I can't tell the difference between Korean, Chinese or Japanese. When it comes to the spoken word, the written word or physical appearance, Hopps suggested that the American public should allow the story play itself out, and concluded with a claim that the incident had taken political correctness to new heights. In late April 2014, Ben and Jerry's signed on to the Fight for the Reef campaign, a partnership between the Worldwide Fund for Nature Australia and the Australian Marine Conservation Society. The campaign collects online donations to fund a legal fighting team, and displayed nearly 60,000 supporters on its website on May 11, 2014. In early April 2014, the company withdrew the popular fish food flavor in Australia due to the Aquatic Association and the potential for awareness raising. The product withdrawal decision followed tours around select parts of the nation that involved Ben and Jerry's representatives distributing free ice cream to highlight the reef damage issue. In response, Environment Minister Andrew Powell said that he would be contacting parent corporation Unilever, explaining, the only people taking a scoop out of the reef is Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S and Unilever. If you understand the facts, Yawa Euro unregistered trademark D want to be boycotting Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S. The Australian public was also informed by Australian Ben and Jerry's brand manager Kelly Swayak, who stated to the Brisbane Times newspaper, Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S believes that dredging and dumping in World Heritage waters surrounding the Marine Park area will be detrimental to the reef ecology. It threatens the health of one of Australia Euro unregistered trademark s most iconic treasures. Premier Campbell Newman, of Australian state Queensland, informed a radio station that he believed that Ben and Jerry's was involved in the dissemination of misinformation, a company is bound by consumer law and Carney Euro unregistered trademark t make false and misleading statements and they are making false and misleading statements when it comes to this. A state senator, Matthew Carnavon, confirmed he raised the issue in writing with the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission and said to the Courier Mail newspaper, Ben and Jerry Euro unregistered trademark S can campaign on whatever issue they like but as a company they have an obligation to tell Australians the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Australia has strict laws to protect consumers against misleading and deceptive behaviour. These mistruths could cost jobs and development in regional Queensland. Eat a Euro unregistered trademark s irresponsible behavior from a company that should know better. Global locations. Ben and Jerry's has locations around the world. Wages. Ben and Jerry's used to have a policy that no employee's rate of pay shall exceed five times that of entry level employees. In 1995, entry level employees were paid $12 hourly, and the highest paid employee was President and Chief Operating Officer Chuck Lacey 
who earned $150,000 annually. When Ben Cohen resigned as chief executive officer and Ben and Jerry's announced the search for a new CEO in 1995, the company ended the 5 to 1 ratio policy. See also, references. Further reading, Widder, Tamara. Cone Heads. The Boston Phoenix. August 8, the Euro 14, 2003. A Euro Boston Phoenix interview with founders Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, Crystal, Anne. Ben and Jerry's is sweet on social issues. Houston Chronicle. Wednesday, June 24, 1992. Food 1. Lager, Fred Chico. Ben and Jerry's, The Inside Scoop. First Ed. New York, Crown Publishers, Incorporated, 1994. Print. External links, official website, Ben and Jerry's Australian official website.